Hi everybody, this is CBGS, I'm the captain here, and today we're actually going to be bringing you a fight from one of our recent events, which is the CBGS Games Day 2019, that was held on the 24th of March, uh, not too long ago from now. Uh, so this is actually a finals match that we had for the Vanguard Tournament between Morokumo and uh, New Nectar. So this is Zangeki versus Cecilia. The fighters, Yishen and Jobi, have reached the finals of our uh, single division tournament and now they are actually proceeding to shuffle. Now, um, this is actually a commentary video. I've already edited this video beforehand, uh, so I kind of know what's going on, but I'm going to try and call this as if I'm seeing it in the, for the first time. In fact, I'm actually going to be, uh, because the timings of everything is might be a little bit off, so I'm going to try and call the action as best as I can. I've been wanting to get into commentary for quite some time right now, so this is one of my first opportunities to do that for Vanguard. But if you'd like to see this bobblehead disappearing right now as we get into the stand up the Vanguard right now, which is snapping now, stand up the Vanguard. Uh, yes, so then let us know in the comments below. Let us know that you like to see more competitive fights from players like this. So, uh, so Joby starts off uh, by riding to Fruits, uh, Fruit Basket Elf, and Yishen Rao riding to Million Rat. Uh, attacks no guard, uh, no guard from uh, rather no pass from Joby. Gets a draw trigger from Yishen. Uh, Joby now uh, rides up to Sylvia when placed. Uh, put a plant token on the Rigard token. Uh, Starlight Garden's Guide goes down when placed, call the same number of plant tokens as this unit. Drive check, nothing, first damage down to Yi Shen. So Pansy Musketeer Sylvia is now attacking. So Million Rat, Jakut's Girl, 2 damage now to Yi Shen. Sunlight Garden Guide's uh, attacking right now, but Yi Shen guards off with a trigger. So stand and draw on his side. Strong showing from Joby being able uh, to uh, attack with 3 units right off the get go uh, while Yishen is at a great 1. So Yishen now right to the re left the rester and calls down Jakut's girl. So now deciding what to attack with first. So he's gonna choose to attack with the Vanguard. He's gonna attack the Riga and the plant token. Uh, Easy target for, for left arrester, but giving Joby the lead in terms of damage. But considering what Jakut's skill, whose skill will go through when it activates, uh, considering her skill, uh, that might actually put an advantage to Yishen. So drive check, nothing. Plant token goes back. Jakut's skill will activate her skill when the attack did not hit. Look at the top 7. Uh, from the top of the deck, we fill up to 2 Shiryuki's. Find these Pedal Storm Shiryuki's among them. Add 1 to your hand, put 1 in the drop zone, shuffle your deck, and if you do not reveal any cards that Yishan has done, he gets to Soul Charge 1. So now the card has been done, Soul Charge 1 on Yishan's side. And he passes the turn to Joby. Joby will now ride to Exploding Tomato. Uh, Imaginary gift going down, he puts the force marker on his left side. So the left side is going to be the first side that's going to get very high powers. And he calls another Exploding Tomato right there. So Exploding Tomato will now attack the Vanguard, the Rigard. Yishen now deciding whether... Oh, no, he decides he gets a heal trigger. So he decides to heal off one, uh, the million rat, and adds 10k to left arrest the Vanguard. Going to make a skill at the end of the battle, they attack, retire this unit, and call up to two plant tokens to uh, the back row of the Rigard Circles. Vanguard attacks, no triggers. Sunlight Garden's uh, guy attacking Jakut's girl. Chumpi now wanting to get rid of Jakut's girl before the Shiryukis are able to come into play. So Yishen now deciding to guard and he does with a trigger unit. And Joby now passes the turn back to Yishen. Very strong showing of both uh, players end. So but Yishen now has Zangeki down and imaginary gift, XL marker goes down. So now Yishen is deciding uh, what's his next move what's his next move gonna be. So his neck move, I wouldn't know, but <laughs> Just to add a little bit of flavor as much as I can. Call down right arrester. Zangeki's skill will activate. If right arrester is in the front row, this unit gets plus one critical. Uh, but it doesn't have left arrester, so it doesn't get the plus 5k. But it is quite dangerous, which means that it's a permanent critical. Two damage uh, from Zangeki onto Joby right now. So uh, Yishen uh, actually puts down the 
uh, the Zangeki, but he's deciding to retract his call. So. He calls down a uh, million red, uses his skill. If you do not have another million red on the field, color plus one, search your deck for up to one, call it the regard circle, shuffle your deck. And that million red gets minus 4000 power. So he puts it behind Jakut's skill, which makes it all the more effective uh, for uh, Jakut's skill to be able to uh, search out for Shirayukis. So, attacks with the Vanguard right now. Uh, he guards. So, this is two pass. Nothing on Yishen's side, so it attacks with the right arrester. Uh, one damage critical. Jacob's skill skill will activate since it's too underpowered to be able to hit uh, Exploring Tomato. So and activates his skill, looks at the top seven cards, and searches for Shirayuki among them. And he finds one in the drop zone, one that he's placed in the drop zone, and one that he will place into his hand. So now he's shuffling his deck. And once the cut has happened. The turn will pass back to Joby. Joby now stands and draws. Plant tokens in the back. Vanguard in the front. There's a little bit of confusion there just to be sure of its skill since it's continuous. So, right up to Cecilia right now. Cecilia. Um, Force marker goes down the right side. Cecilia's skill. Uh, color plus one and retire Riga. Look at the top five cards. Uh, call up to two units among them to Riga circles and shop for your deck. If your soul has a great tree, he can call up to three cards instead of two. And three of the units in the front row get plus uh, 10k until the end of the turn. So he calls down uh, Sylvia, he calls down Mirka, and he calls down Rebecca, which you can't see from the, from the light over there. Now, a lot of skills are going to be procking off once that cut happens right there. Not only the plus 10k to the front row, but also. Uh, Mirka's skill, which is uh, when another Riga is placed in say college this unit, this unit gets plus 3k. Uh, Rebecca's skill, where, he adds, where she adds plus 5k to the plant token, grade 1 or less when placed. A lot of tokens now going down as well. So The plus 10k actually goes to the plant token because it was in the front before uh, Joby swapped over the Sylvia to the front. So that's where all the power is. Uh, but the Vanguard is now attacking. This is uh, this is 23 plus 5. This is 28. Going after Zangeki. Yishen now just planning his guards. Just making sure that he has enough for everything out here. It is 2 to 1 right now. Doing a power check on Sylvia. Sylvia right now, I believe, is... Uh, going for 40 right now so uh he puts down shiriki in the guardian circle and activates his skill so blast two uh two choose three units in the front row and get minus 5k at the end of the turn if the unit is on the vanguard or the guardian circle it gets in minus 10k instead so he puts down a hit trigger and makes it uh two pass and joby gets a critical trigger so a critical trigger now uh Deciding where to put it. He's gonna play on the safe side. I think uh, yes, he's gonna play on the safe side put it all on Rebecca So so he puts the power token down there And nothing on the second check so Rebecca will now attack the Vanguard Rebecca is now I believe is going for 16 um, 16 26 36 plus 3 so this is actually 39 my math may be wrong down there but a perfect guard will block it off no matter the number right there so he throws away one Shirayuki right there so alright draw trigger on each inside uh, Rebecca's skill Joby activates uh, at the end of the turn so plus 1 retire plant token return this unit to your hand counters now out the turn gets passed Yishan got a draw trigger on his damage right there, but it's now 3 to 1. So the draw triggers are helping him. Uh, but he puts down another Zangeki and another Exxon token goes down. Zangeki's skill will actually be able to proc off now, his second skill. If your soul has a Dueling Dragon in it, your opponent can only call great zeros from his hand to the Guardian Circle. This is very important for Joby because he can't call any other units to defend him against Zangeki. Or any of the units that Zangeki has in this form. So, 
uh, Yi Shen now deciding to attack with the um, with the right arrester. And Yi Shen just deciding what to attack with first. So in this case, he decided to go attack with the Vanguard right now, but Joby no guts. First check, critical trigger. Second check, uh, plus one critical to Zangeki. And he adds power to uh, the right arrester that's in the Axel Circle. Three damage, critical trigger, nothing. Draw trigger. Total 20k to Cecilia and a draw. Joby set four. Yi Shen managed to turn his tide around. Got hook skill will attack and will miss. So his skill will activate where Joby, uh, where Yi Shen check the top seven and adds one Shiryuki. If I'm doing my map correctly, that is his fourth Shiryuki that's already out of the deck right now. So competitors cut right there. Ready, Madam skill will activate two of them. If the units attack did not hit. Uh, put it into the soul and add a fantasy pedal stop sure Yuki from the drop zone into your hand So Joby now has three total sure Yuki's in his hand right now So puts down Cecilia and puts the force marker over the vanguard right now So everything in the front row plus 10k Cecilia's skill will now he use Cecilia's skill one more time he retires Mecha and he gets to call down uh, two units or three units since he already has a retreat in the soul. And he puts down Exploding Tomato. Puts down another Mecha. Uh, and he puts down Ermin's soul in the right side. This is a very, very intense fight. This is the finals after all. Customary cut for the tournament. Plus thank you to the front row as well. Can't forget that part from Cecilia's skill. It's very important. Uh, make a skill activate when placed. So blast one and call this uh call plant token in same color as this unit. In case it puts over Mecha and retires it. A midsole skill when placed. If you have two or more great zeros, cost kind of blast one. Draw a card and all units in King Kong's season gets plus 5k. Exploding Tomato skill he activates. Retire 2 plant tokens, draw a card and this unit gets plus 10k until end of turn. A lot of skills going off, a lot to catch up. I originally thought this was a uh, misplay on Joby's side but it turns out that it's actually not because of the skill pool. Uh, everything that is going off right there. So, so now this is a very very big uh, 23, 43 going down to the Vanguard. Uh, Joby no guards but gets a draw trigger on his 4th damage Plus 10k to his vanguard uh, Almost forgetting exploring to major skill Retiring himself and calling 2 plant tokens in the rear guard So Cecilia will now attack This is 23, 33, 38 going after the vanguard right now Count Power check for Ermin Soul right now Ermin Soul is, uh, should be going for I believe it is 2530. I believe it's 37 if I'm not mistaken. Not 37, it may be 40 or 39. So I haven't been able to memorize uh, all the cards' power. Or if. Uh, I haven't been able to memorize the every card's power, so my numbers may be off, but it is a still a very high number for Yu Shen to be able to take. He still has the Shoryukis in his hands right now, but he's doing a trigger check just to make sure that he has what he has uh, left in the deck. So again, just double checking on the power. Besides to no guard Cecilia, let's check. He'll trigger for Joby side on his second check. Heal one and plus tank him to Ermin so Fifth damage to Yishen, so really pushing the envelope here. 5 to 4 right now. Joby just making sure that he has what he has prepared on his hand. Now attack with Ermin Soul. Plus that power, I believe it is. Uh, 9 case. I believe this one may be a 49 going down. And with 2 cards, 2 triggers, Yisha managed to block it off with ease. Turn passes back to Yishen. Stands and draws. 
he shared. He's gotta pull something up in order to be able to do so. And he calls down a left arrestor. Left arrestor, ironically, in the right circle. Excel circle right there. So, but Zangeki's skill will be able to proc off. It is plus 5k permanent now. As long as the left arrestor is in the front row. Zangeki now attacks. This is 2 damage. 2 damage, 17. Oh, but. 10k no pass right there is a huge trigger on Yishen's side deciding where the power should go this is no pass on Joby's side but he still has a lot of units they can put power to he pumps it to the regard circle right arrestor I already get in the left circle now he's attacking with that right arrestor Draw trigger on the B side, so it's 4 damage right now, draws 1 plus 10k to the Vanguard. It's gotta be frustrating for Yishen's side, for his opponent to be able to get triggers when he needs to push for the damage. Yishen now deciding what to go with, with his next attack. He attacks with Chuck's skill, but he's deciding to use its skill because the attack will not be able to hit. He's got no Shirokis left in that deck, so he's gonna shuffle, he's gonna get that soul charge as well. Hopefully to be able to filter out all the normal units, so the only units that's left in this turn will be trigger units. I haven't had a chance to count how many heal triggers he's already seen out of this match, so. But he's now trying to limit the field, left the rest of the skill will attack, uh, when he takes the Vanguard, uh, if he has another arrestor, he gets a soul plus 1, this unit gets plus 5k. So there is plus 5k attacking to him. Very big damage. But Joby manages to guide it off with E. So 5k stays. It's a permanent on Yishen's side on Sakeki. And here Joby activates Sisina's skill. Retiring a plant token. Looking at the top 5. He can choose to call 2 or 3. In this case, he decides to call 2 only. So. Middle Trading Rose and Sunlight Gar Sunlight Garden's Guide. Uh, her name is a tongue twister a little bit, so customary cut over here. Plus 10k to the front row. And then he'll be able to activate uh, both skills for uh, the guide and for Middle Trading Rose as well. Place call up to one plant token. If this unit was placed on a Vega Circle, you can call two instead. So now he has a beefy front going up to him. I the guy and calls down Ermin's soul. Counter blast one, draw one, and plus 5k to all units in the same column as this unit. So Yi Shen now doing a trigger check right now. By my calculations, Ermin's soul should be sitting at uh 30, 39, 42. So Cecilia sitting there at 23, 33, and 38. Military Lose is the same amount as well, 33. Cecilia now attacking, 33. Yushen puts down Shiryuki in the Guardian Circle. I use that in air quotes. Uh, so plus 2. And he gets minus 20k. He puts down another Shiryuki and minuses another 20, uh, 10k. Rather from the front field. So this is Cecilia going at it at 18. So it's a two pass from Yishen. First trigger, draw trigger. Will Joby decide to gamble or will he put it to the side? But I believe most players might actually put it to the side. He's not put at edge yet. Joby is in a comfortable position at this point, so he needs to decide where to pump the power. He pumps it to Ermin Soul. So I can check nothing. Puts the power counter down so we can keep track of Ermin Soul's uh, power right there. So Many Trading Dose now attacking. With very low power. Ermin Soul now should be attacking for if I'm not mistaken, this is 30. 39. So. But the guard is easy blocked off from there. Yi Sheng now gets the turn. He puts down Zambaku, but he tracks the Zambaku. He's deciding whether if he should ride the Zambaku or not. So he's just gotta make sure that it is the right call for him to put down the Zambaku. The 
it's a hard decision going for Zambaku's skill or whether if staying on Zageki and maintaining his 5k would help him. He has the extra critical pointing out good skill, haven't stood up yet. He still has that critical that may play to his advantage since Joby and him are at 4 damage right now. One critical may make or break the game. So, for out Zangeki. The Excel Circle goes down, but Yishen decides to uh, go against it. This is not an official uh, tournament in the, the Bushiro circuit, so we have allowed this to go on. Zangeki's skill will pop off. Joby can only guard with great zeros and he gets a plus 5k and the one critical continues. So Zangeki now attacks. Perfect guard, Joby has perfect guard. He's got a lot of cards in his hands rather so. So he has ways to guard off. So just making sure that there's no dubious plays. No nothing in his checks. Yishan's at 5 cards right now. Yishan might start to feel the heat right there. This is 4-4 four four right now. Now deciding which unit should attack first. He still has the two units in his cell circle. The left and right the rest of them. Rose has Jakut skull but Oh, and he's deciding to actually attack Middle Trade Roses and Ermin Soul. He's trying to limit his field. Uh, he's only attacking with Jakut skull but he's blocking her skill off. Just to try and get those all important triggers in the right positions as best as he can after the the complimentary cut draw from the opponent. Just to make sure that he can get the edge in the next turn. And he is successful a little bit with the Soul Charge not being an important trigger unit. So, Joby now stands and draws. It is Cecilia on her own with three plant tokens at the back. What is the move for Joby right now? He calls down Fruit Basket L, activates the skill. So, Basra will tie this unit. Call up to two plant tokens, and the Vanguard is a great tree of greater. Those plant tokens actually get plus 5k. Oh my word, Cecilia and her five plant tokens. If you call back to at the start of the match, uh, when Yishan actually took out a plant token, this is probably a revenge from Cecilia. Don't ever talk to me or my five plant tokens ever again. Telling it straight to Zangeki's face. Joby now calling over uh, Rebecca activated a skill plus 5k to the plant token. Calls down another Rebecca and plus another 5k to the other plant token right there. Joby now really means business. Or uh, in this case he's just trying to make the best of his turn. Rationing off for any future turns potentially with a large hand size of his. So it's a small hand size on Yishen's side. This is 23. 23 plus 8 so this is the D1 going after Yishen going after Zangeki right now it is 4 to 4 Yishen might have to gamble he might have to gamble for uh, there being no critical triggers in the next check because that critical trigger can make or break it right now so what Yishen is betting on me bite him in the butt in this case Yishen has recently done the check or he's doing another check for the number of triggers that are out right now the number of critical triggers that's the most important one on Yish for Yishen to take note based on what I can see from this footage alone so uh, quite a good number is out but not everything is out there is a strong chance that uh, Yishen will run into a trigger. The question is which one. Power check on both sides right now. It's an intense fight worthy of the finals for CVGS Game City. No guard on Yishen. Critical trigger. Critical to the Vanguard. Power to the plant token. Yishen says uh, he's got no heal triggers left. And so the game ends 6 to 4 with Joby, Neo Nectar, and Cecilia as the victors for here at CVGS Games Day. I hope you guys enjoyed the match that you see here. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary that I have provided for this. Uh, I hope to do more of these commentaries one of these days or more often these days. 
uh, not just with uh, Vanguard but for most other card games as well as best of my abilities. I'm constantly learning and hope to get better in as time goes on. Uh, with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this card fight from CVGS. If you'd like to see more competitive fights uh, from us here at CVGS, uh, we hope to be able to get hold of more footage from other uh, tournaments that are going around around Singapore and maybe even all over the world but you have footage uh, and you like to see those videos comes out if you like to see more fights from us uh, do subscribe to us here CVGS ring the bell so you can get notified follow us on all of our socials we are on Discord we also have a Facebook we also have a Twitter as well follow us on all those links we have a vlog as well uh normally we actually put up the deck profiles for the decks that we put up but unfortunately I have to apologize we actually we actually forgot to uh, ask the players to lend us their, their decks so that we can do a deck list uh, to provide you guys with what uh, decks these two are playing with so uh, but we'll try and make sure that we do that in future uh, content that we do uh, so if you'd like to see that and you'd like to see more do be sure to subscribe to us and with all that said thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye